Sorry, sorry, maybe bitch. No. Four Knox K9, make yourself known by sorry, sorry, maybe bitch. No, I don't want it. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Huh? Ah, ah. A relatively uncommon occurrence in the Army, the Fort Knox 905th Military Working Dog Detachment has an all-female dog handling unit. Corporal Kaylee Floyd, military working dog handler, said that she has always loved dogs, so when she began looking at the various military occupation specialties that were offered, military working dog handling piqued her interest. I started working with uh, military working dog Bagheera last March. Um, my prior military working dog did end up retiring, and I was able to pick up Bagheera. I was lucky enough to already kind of train side by side with his handler, so I knew Bagheera pretty well. He has worked fantastic for me this whole past year. He is seven years old now, so he's a little bit of an old man, but he's still playing and working hard. With yearly certifications coming up for some of the team, the unit is currently focused on training including building searching, odor detection, obedience and bite training, and scouting. Within all of our training, the dogs mainly work for the reward as well as praise. They don't know that they're searching for drugs or they're searching for bombs, so they just have fun. They work to have fun. For Specialist Jada Robinson, military working dog handler, this career fit perfectly into her plans to build a better life for herself while doing something she loved, interacting with dogs. I've been working with Cooney for about two, almost three months. She is a new dog, but she knows how to adapt well on her feet. She's really smart. She loves the work. She loves it like crazy. She loves her rewards. Yeah, but you, I'll take it, I'd pay that. Yay! My favorite part of the job is building my connection with like something that doesn't speak. It's just an awesome thing to like, witness and be a part of.